So my little clean room I had in here for engine assembly is not so clean anymore. Uh, it's kind of a mess. But uh, I'm getting this motor put back together and I, I kind of wanted to stop here. I wasn't going to make a video on this at all because a lot there's a lot of videos online um, putting together an L-series engine. So I didn't think it was, a you know, it wouldn't be a good video to show you guys. But one thing I will show you guys is that I decided to go with a little bit different timing system, a little bit ignition trigger system. Uh, you know, I'm going to delete the distributor on this and go with, you know, because I'm going to be running the ECU Master EMU Black to run the uh, run this engine. So instead of, th there's a couple different ways you can do it. Uh, there's a couple companies that make distributors that you can just plug right in and it'll give you timing right off of it, okay? Uh, I decided to go with an actual trigger wheel, okay? Milk Fab Engineering. Uh, I bought the uh, axles for this car from them. So the axles and the uh, adapters that, you know, you use to, to run the, uh, the CVs. I bought that from them and the quality was like really, really good. The machining and all that was like top notch. So when I saw that they make a trigger system, a Hall Effect trigger system for these L series engines, I went ahead and tried it. Uh, it was right around 300 bucks, uh, but it the, the timing is gonna be much more stable because the wheel is larger. Uh, one, one, so yeah, one thing I've learned is that on these Hall Effect trigger systems, okay, like on a 2J, the hall, the, the wheel is pretty small, okay? And what happens is, is it's like very critical in order to get your timing right. And you got to run filters in the ECU and the air gap has got to be very precise in order for it to, to work. So um, I don't know if I'm correct on this, but my theory is, is that the larger trigger wheel, you know, it's got larger gaps in it. So I'll show you guys so you can see. Uh, it's got much larger gaps. So your timing is going to be more stable than it would be if you were running a smaller wheel inside of a distributor, kind of like a 2J. Uh, you know, you get trigger errors. Um, some, sometimes on the 2J, I do get trigger errors. Uh, it, you know, it doesn't really affect it that much, but you have to run like some filters and, and it's built in the ECU. But anyway, I, I wanted to go with this system because it just it looked like it's going to be better like i can't verify that for sure this is just you know a theory in my head and i'm i'm hoping it works out but anyway i wanted to show you guys how this goes together they give you a hub okay that replaces the washer on your <clears throat> dampener bolt okay uh so that that goes there uh and then they also give you these little alignment uh, set screws. So you go ahead and just thread those into your balancer and that's what pretty much aligns it. So this will go on like that so that it aligns it, okay? So, and then once you get that on there, you're gonna just, you know, put your damper bolt on, go ahead and impact that on, torque it, whatever you gotta do. I'm not gonna get into that debate whether you should not use a impact gun. <laughs> but anyway, uh, and then after that, your your trigger wheel is going to bolt to it. Uh, and they give you some adjustment on it too, okay? So if this is, this is top here, uh, so you can see you can slide it and kind of fine tune your trigger system, okay? So, in the ECU, you can also adjust that, okay? You can adjust the offset, but they give you a mechanical way to do it, to kind of adjust it, and that, that's nice too. So, uh, you know, it gives you some options. I know some people like to run uh, Megasquirt, and I don't know what's in that software as far as how much you can adjust it. I have no idea. So, and then you get this bracket here that comes with it, and this bracket just bolts onto your timing cover and it gives you a pointer as well. So what I've already done it, but what you wanna do is get your engine at TDC, make sure it's, you know, you can use an indicator or 
but you could put a screwdriver in the uh, in the hole, and then you know when you see it come up and then just start to come down, back it off a little bit, and that's zero. And then it should line up here too. Okay, there's a little mark, and there, and then there's a little line in the back that you want to line it to. Once you get that, then you can then you can set your TDC. Uh, I was taking the uh, I was tightening the bolt a little bit earlier, and it kind of moved, but. Anyway, uh, it, this little pointer here is also adjustable. So you can adjust that to wherever your, your zero is right there, okay? And then the, the Hall effect is gonna bolt right here. It's just a basically uh, the, the same one everybody uses. You can get them on like DigiKey or I think Mauser Electronics and the part number is, uh, it ends in like 555. It's made by Little Fuse. They're like 35 bucks and it gives you really good stable timing, okay? That's what I have on the 2J. <clears throat> I have two of them, one on the, the uh, crank and one on the cam. So we're not gonna have one on the cam on this, on this engine. So we're gonna be running it in wasted spark and uh, not, it won't be sequential uh, ignition or fueling, okay? But that's okay, uh, it, it still gives you a lot of you know, flexibility and it gives you much more stable timing than you would with a distributor or, you know, that, that kind of setup. Uh, I, I could have, what I could have done was just run the distributor, uh, came off of the distributor with a trigger and run a coil. But, you know, with distributors, you get, there, there's a lot of play in it and your, your timing is never going to be perfect. With this, it's going to be much more accurate, okay? So this is what I went with. I think it's going to work out pretty good. And um, yeah, when I get to the tuning aspect of it, I'll kind of show you guys, you know, how to set that up. You're going to want to, you know, in the, in, in the ECU Masters, you basically, you want to uh, get it to where you're, you know, you lock your timing at zero and then come over to the balancer and basically make sure you verify that your engine timing matches the ECU. And if it doesn't, you can, like I said, you can either adjust this or we can mess with the offsets in the, in the ECU, which is usually easier to mess with the offsets in the ECU than trying to guess on this. And then, you know, hopefully you got it right. And then if not, you got to go back and adjust it. So um, what I'm going to probably do is just set this in the middle, you know, close to the middle and then adjust it in the ECU, which, you know, will we'll get the timing right in line, so. But anyway, uh, that's pretty much all I wanted to show you guys. It's a, it's a really nice kit. I, I do recommend it so far. I mean, like, I, I haven't run the engine, but I don't see where this is gonna be an issue. And that, like I said, everything is, it just fits really good. The, the fit and the finish is really nice, so. Uh, they do give you good directions too. I, I noticed that when I bought the CV axles, you know, the directions are, are really, you know, comprehensive and it shows you pretty much everything and gives you step by step, you know, including pictures. So you can see where you put your little, your little set screws in like, kind of like dowels and then it aligns. Um, there's the timing pointer and then there's your, there's your sensor <clears throat> where it, where it bolts there. Um, and then it does actually give you some kind of, you know, uh, kind of an idea of how you're supposed to set it. And, um, yeah. Yeah. Anyway, I hope you guys got, you know, some information out of this and maybe help you make a decision. Uh, it does look really nice. It fits really good and uh, it should, it should work good. I mean, I don't see why it wouldn't. And you know, it gives you a nice little billet cover and all that. So yeah, uh, I should have this engine pretty much wrapped up soon. And, uh, and then we can start, maybe I'll get it off the stand and maybe we'll switch out the Jay-Z off the run stand and we'll get this on the run stand and we might be able to try to wire it up and fire it up um, with the ECU. So I don't know, that, that may be a video in the future, but other than that, uh, the, the doors are, they're in the process of getting done. 
Got a lot of the body work already finished on where we showed you guys on the last video, uh, fixing this area here. I'm starting to get it blocked out nice. Uh, and yeah, it won't be long before I can paint these doors. And then that's it. Once that's, once that's done, we can clear this shop out and then resume assembly on this thing. I'm, I'm getting excited to get this thing put back together. So anyway, guys, hope you enjoyed this video and learned something and uh, that'll do it. Check you all later.